hello everyone in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to download and install powershell on windows so for it just go to your windows search option then search for cmd and there you will see command prompt option just click on it and it will open a command prompt like this so here we need to write a command and the command is win get search microsoft m will be capital microsoft dot powershell p will be capital power shell then you need to press enter so this will download and install some packages and here you need to agree with the source agreement so we need to say here yes then press enter and there you can see uh, it is done after that we need to run two more command we need to say here win get install dash dash id and we need to give a space here and after the id we need to say microsoft powershell again so we say here microsoft dot powershell po powershell and here m will be capital and p will be capital after that we need to give another dash dash source then we need to say win get then we will just press enter after that we are going to say the same thing again we will say here win get install let me say here win get install dash dash id then microsoft dot powershell p will be capital again powershell this time we need to give a dot and we need to say here preview source winget we'll give here dash dash source winget after that just press enter and it will start installing powershell in our windows and there you can see it is downloading and it is around 107 MB so it will take some time so I'll just fast forward the video then give a permission yes and there you can see it is done so right now we can just close this then just go to your windows search option and here just search for powershell and there you can see it says windows powershell and we can open it over here there you can see it says windows powershell right now so this is how you can download and install powershell on your windows i hope this was easy for you to follow if you have any question or suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorial